a unique case in history, how a brave Canadian became friends with one of the most dangerous predators on the planet. Mark Abbott is a 60-year-old Canadian who lives with an unusual pet, a polar bear named A.G. This story could become a real sensation among the new neighbors if they were introduced, but we are interested in something completely different. It is important to understand how it happened that a huge predator not only lives next to people, but also does not turn them into dinner. It is noteworthy that only Mark and his wife can be near A.G. Any other people cause aggression in the bear. As Mark himself explains, he has long learned to recognize the body language of his pet. However, if someone decides to repeat his actions, then, most likely, the bear will perceive him as prey. The bear feels something like kinship with Mark. It all started when he took her to his home when Eiji was only eight weeks old. Perhaps she perceives him as a mother, which is not surprising, given the early age when she came to him. But it is worth asking, what kind of person do you have to be to keep a polar bear in your home for 27 years? The answer is simple. Mark Abbott is a professional trainer. He understands animal behavior perfectly, knows how to establish contact with them and gain trust. This is exactly what is needed for the animal to learn to follow commands and not see a person as prey. The long 27 years of trust between Mark and A.G. were not easy. It took time and effort for the predator to begin to perceive the trainer as a friend. Now their relationship is so strong that Mark allows the bear to close her jaws on his head. This is probably the only case in the world when a person can confidently say that a polar bear is part of his family. A.G. behaves with Mark as if she were an ordinary domestic dog. She allows herself to be stroked, plays with him. This case is a unique example of friendship between a person and a dangerous predator. It is not known whether Mark puts on public shows with his bear, but it is quite possible that many people around the world would be happy to come and see it. It is also interesting how the daily life of this family, where one of the members is a huge polar bear, goes. Do you think it is possible to safely keep such an animal at home? How dangerous is it for the abbots themselves and their neighbors?